I don't know what the words are in Japanese, but if pork katsu curry doesn't translate into the most amazing comfort food ever, nothing will. The year is 2019. Max and I are in Tokyo shooting top 10 things eat in Tokyo. And one of them had to be pork katsu curry. Crispy breaded pork on top of a dreamy, silky, elegant curry sauce with the smattering of vegetables. It is literally one of the greatest foods ever. In fact, my very first time in Tokyo was the very first meal that I ate in a train station. It was cool because you go up to a vending machine outside the little restaurant in the train station, you put your money in and you push a button for a picture and you get a ticket. You take the ticket inside the restaurant and you hand it to the person and you get what you, you paid for. It's got the whole diner vibe. It's got the whole diner vibe. I love Tokyo. We love Tokyo. We're dying to go back and shoot stuff there. But, but you know, there's this COVID still going on and we can't get ourselves over there. But that's okay. Because if we can't go, you can't go. But we will bring you now the most delicious pork katsu curry ever. It's pretty easy. We make a sauce. This luscious gravy curry stuff first. And then while that's uh, simmering, we crisp up our pork cook and we eat. Sauce first. We begin with a splotch of uh, oil and a yellow onion sliced up. Let's get these guys in, get them a little greasy, and let them start to cook for a couple of minutes, just to soften a bit. And next in, we'll go some cut up carrot. That was the three, you know, medium-ish carrots. I just cut them lengthwise, then in half to give these little half moons. You cut them any way you want, buddy, it's all you. And then one uh, potato that I've cut in a dice. Everybody starts to get a little love in the pot. Give this a minute or so. Next in, about a tablespoon of ginger, like that. Fresh ginger. Could you use uh, ground powdered ginger? No. Thank you. All right, the ginger's nice and fragrant. And that plane departs from directly above us. He's doing donuts up there again. Next, we follow up with two things. One to help thicken will be a couple tablespoons of regular all-purpose flour. And the other thing for the world's best flavor is some curry powder. And I'm using Japanese curry powder, S and B. And this will give a, about a good tablespoon, like that. And we mix. We just want to cook this long enough in this dry, desert-like state to cook off the rawness of the flour. You know what would have been good here? A spoon. I don't know why I had to use this dumb thing. So when that flour taste is gone, it should only take about a minute or so, we would come in with a couple liquid items. One, two cups of chicken stock. Beautiful. Little mix. This is coming alive right under our noses, and boy, is it going to be good. Right? Just two more things. As curry can be a little bitter, we don't want that, we'll go, oh, oh holy snap, <laughs> with two tablespoons of honey. Perfect. God. Stand by. I can't use my hands right now. That was about the most inelegant thing I've ever done. About a half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, like that. And if you only had regular soy sauce, that would be fine. And then we mix again. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much right now. You're going to be real happy you watched. So you just want to bring this to a little simmer and let it bubble away gently for 10 minutes or so. And while it's doing that, we're going to make our pork. It's unbelievable. So, uh, we just busted you. Unbe it's unbelievable. Okay, here's that moment. The one thing I forgot that I would have put in when all the flour and stuff was in there is a little butter. It's just going to kick in a little richness. So there you go. Let that happen, please. Now back to our pork. A couple pretty little uh, pork loin chops, no bone. Bone less. Bone less. I like that. I like dropping things. Oh, wow. It's really loud. But uh, they're too thick. So we got to flatten them a bit. We'll do another plane. I don't know. It's like we live by the airport now. Oh, and I don't have my oil out here. Look, I always put a little oil in because I think they'll rip. Let's see if we can make it not rip, okay? Okay. And then I don't have to do that ever again. We're all learning here together, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go about a half inch. No ripping. Beautiful. All right, take this out. Put the other one in. And repeat. When you're done smacking the pork like Will Smith smacked Chris Rock, it's time for the breading station. We've all seen this before, the basic breading station. We'll start by seasoning our pork, salt and pepper. Nothing too insane, it's pretty thin. Nonetheless, do a nice job. And then we go like this. First, always, into the flour, both sides. Flour makes the egg stick, so then we go into the egg. Both sides, out of the egg, let the excess drip and then into the panko. Use any breadcrumbs you want, but if you're making Japanese food, I would be using Japanese breadcrumbs, and that's what panko are, and they're the best. And this guy's coated beautifully. Come out, 
Put it on your sheet and repeat. Meanwhile, if you could smell the curry simmering away beside us, you would be in nose heaven. Nose heaven? All right, guys, you know what I think we should do? Let's get this shit crispy. And we're ready. So in goes one. Beautiful. Lay it away from you. And then the other guy will go on the other side. Sorry, Max. Trying not to block Max's camera work. There we go. Spectacular. You're probably looking at five minutes total, perhaps a shade less, but I think you'll be fine. Should be pretty obvious, but you know what we're going for. Gorgeous golden brown. That's it. The color anybody would want to be if they were a piece of pork katsu. Oh, it's going to be great, fellas. And yes, you're looking at a Sam the Cooking Guy 12-inch cast iron pan. We'll put a link, but you can go to shopstcg.com any time of the day. Any time of the day? They can. It's amazing how this technology works. Surely they must close the website overnight. We don't. We used to back in the early days, but no, just keep it going. All right, so we're about the halfway point. Let's turn these guys over. That's pretty. That's double pretty. Oops, I dripped a little. All right, and I think they're ready. So let's get them. Let's drip, drip, drip on there. And then this fella. Wow. Who's ready? All right, so here's how this happens. It happens deliciously. We start off with some rice. And uh, if you're having this in Japan, white steamed rice is the way to do this. Let me just do a little bit more on this side. We want to make this real pretty, don't we, Max? Okay, perfect. Now our pork. I'm going to take this guy here, this beautiful guy. Wait for the cutting sounds. Nice. Perfecto. All right, that will go on top. Now, if we're trying to be good kids, living right, we'll take our pork and we'll go right here, all beautifully laid out. Damn. And now, do you remember this? See how luxurious it got? Now look, you don't want to do vegetables like this. Don't do vegetables. You really don't have to, but I think it is so good with the potato, with the carrot, and the onion. I feel like you got to do it a little bit. All right, I got one more thing to add. I bought some Japanese pickled ginger. The dish is so rich, the curry sauce so rich, that it really benefits from a vinegary bite of this ginger. Fantastic. And that, my friends, is that. I mean, look, where do you start? Well, I think you got to have a piece of the, 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 the pork first, right? Just by itself. Fine, with a little sauce on it. Oh, boy. That's going to be good. You hear the crunch? Mm. We're back in Tokyo, late night, sitting in cocoa curry, having a big ass bowl of this. There's another version that instead of the vegetables, it comes with slow scrambled eggs that are dreamy. It's easy to make, it's super delicious, and it very nicely qualifies for, don't make the same thing all the time, potato. Soft, perfect, carrot. Still a little bite to it. Mm. And then don't forget the ginger because it just makes everything better. Opposites attract. All right, thanks guys. Hey, go pre-order my uh, new cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, Between the Buns. The dumbest name ever. Comes out May 17th. Sayonara.